right, guys, I'm Dean from 5150. Today, we're going to be comparing the different types of um, air compressors you can use off-road. We have CO2, we have portable air compressors, we have air compressors that are hardwired to your uh, vehicle all the time. So we're going to compare these different systems today and figure out the benefits and the, and the cons. And um, from this video, I'm hoping you guys figure out which works best for you. For our test, we'll be using a Mickey Thompson MTZ 37 1250 by 17 mud terrain tire. We will be airing down from 30 pounds to 12 pounds. We will time each air compressor and document the results and compare which air compressor is the fastest. So on the left we have one I made back in like 2005. We have a blue power tank. We have the black Smitty Belt Comp Air, another power tank, red one, and this is a 15 pound. The other three are 10 pounds. This is a 15 pound one that we made a while ago. The power tanks both have the HP250 uh, regulators on them. Um, this one here. When I built this, I just bought the parts off eBay. It's a 10 pound CO2 tank. Bought a couple um, gauges stuck on there, liquid fill gauges, and I wanted the handle on it. Uh, the comparison between the power tanks, um, you can look at the handles. They have the spot here that you can um, um, hang your hoses from and so forth. The power tank from, or the Smitty Belt one doesn't have that, it just has. So we are going to air down the 12 PSI's, which we are right there. So this test is going to be the Smitty Belt. And we're going to go ahead and take this up to uh, 30 pounds. I have this valve open 100%. And make sure this is turned on all the way. And that valve's on all the way. We're going to use this iPhone here to um, Start. So I'm going to put this on first, make sure you got a good seal. And I'm going to start. I'm going to take this up to 30 pounds. I do like these ARB air checks because they have a long braided line up there. You don't have to bend over. So right now we're at 22 seconds. And we're at 28 pounds, 27 and a half. And there's 30 pounds at about 45 seconds. All right, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect this and get the other one set up. And we're gonna now hook this up to the homemade one I made back in like 2005. All these tanks have been just filled, or 100% full, to make it a good comparison. Thirty pounds to 108, roughly. So the. Mini belt was quite a bit faster than the one that I made back in 2005. Um, it was around 45 seconds. This was about 70 seconds. Make sure this is open all the way, regulators turned on. OK, 
Okay, and here we go. We're gonna have 12 pounds, take it to 30. There's 12 seconds. 15, 16, 17. Twenty-seven, twenty-nine, thirty pounds at about 32, 33 seconds. So that is the power tank with the um, 250 HP regulator. So we're going to hook up the buyer air. So this is going to be a, a, a DC test power. Uh, we're going to come right off the battery and um, air up this tire. And we will start the Jeep just to make sure it's got full power. And we're at 30 there, about almost four minutes. Here we have our uh, AR pump. Uh, this also runs my air compressor. Uh, so we'll go ahead and use this as a backup when we run out of CO2 and for my uh, air locker. We'll go ahead and test this on our 37 to see how she does. Okay, we're gonna try the ARB right now. Get her hooked up, turn the light on. We're at 12 pounds, and start. about three minutes and 30 seconds. So that's our Ingersoll Ram. That's our T30 series. It's at 175 PSI. It's running at three, or 220, or 230. And, and this. And that probably did it in about 48 seconds, 49 seconds. Which one's the fastest? 
From the test results, you can see the power tank was the fastest in the lineup, coming in at 33 seconds, followed closely by the Smitty Belt at 45 seconds. Then our 60 gallon, 5 horsepower, 175 psi Ingersoll Ram shop air compressor came in third at 49 seconds. Fourth was the DYI CO2 tank at 68 seconds. Fifth was the ARB compressor at 3 minutes and 30 seconds. And last was the Via Air 400P at 3 minutes and 57 seconds. Hi guys, this is Dean. Welcome to 5150. Today we tested the different type of air systems that we have here, being uh, CO2 from our homemade ones that we've done here to the Smitty Belt to the, uh, the big daddies of them all, the power tanks, which is you know the industry standard. We also compared it to some um, 12 volts and our main power uh, air compressor we have here at the house, which is a Ingersoll Round T30 series, 175 pound PS, PSI compressor. Um, the results are kind of um, interesting actually because uh, um, the power tanks and the uh, uh, spinning belt actually filled up the 37 inch tire faster than our main compressor that we use here at our shop. Um, the CO2 one that we built back, you know, back in 2005, uh, that was the slowest, that was about a minute and eight seconds. The spinning belt here turned in to be about um, 45 seconds. The power tanks, the 10 pounders, um, they filled up that tire in 33 seconds. Um, the fire air. The fire air, uh, which is a portable air compressor. Basically, you just connect the positive um, lead to the positive of the battery and the negative to the negative side. Uh, that was actually the slowest. Uh, it's nice, it's portable, it's the advantage of it. You can take it from vehicle to vehicle. Um, but doing the 37 inch tire from uh, 12 pounds to 30, that took three minutes and 57 seconds. Um, still a good solution. Uh, we use it for our backup in case we're out of CO2. Um, my Jeep also has the ARB uh, compressor that I run my, my ARBs with. Uh, that came in the uh, second slowest. That ended up being three minutes and 30 seconds to fill that tire out. So the advantages of CO2, much faster. They are portable, they're quicker. You can even run your air lockers off of them if you need to. Um, there's some uh, valving and some stuff that you can connect up to them. Uh, disadvantages, you gotta have them filled up. Um, so you have to find a shop um, that has CO2 that will actually fill the tanks. A lot of them wanna do an exchange program, um, which when you have a nice pretty tank like these, you don't want to happen. So you gotta find a place that will actually just fill them up on site. Uh, I have several of them here. Um, I had this one filled up yesterday. Actually, it cost me $11, cheapest I've ever paid. Um, these two I had filled up oh, about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago at a different shop. These end up costing me uh, $16. Um, this is the CO2, which is the 15 pound. Uh, obviously, it's much bigger. Uh, we put this on our trailer when we go out. And uh, this here is only like $2 more to fill up, uh, even though it's a lot bigger. Um, so. Um, the results were pretty interesting. If you guys have any questions or comments, please let us know. And please remember to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks, guys.